Guys, please make sure you stay until the end. One common mistake that people often make can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs, parts, diagnostics that you may actually not even need. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Tahoe or Chevy Suburban that generation here from year 2014 to year 2020. If you need to find where the fuse for the electric running boards, guys, also known as power assist steps, where these fuses and relays are located, where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why guys, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, please make sure you stay until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here in the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them guys completely apart, we show you how to fix engines, transmissions, bodywork guys, engine codes, transmission codes, fuses, relays uh, as well guys. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. Guys, we have more than 15,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs and if you guys need to buy any parts to use at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time we'll put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out so guys what you can expect to find the fuses and the relays for the electric running boards on the newer ones they're called power assist steps we will demonstrate on this generation Chevy Tahoe, Chevy Suburban. Now guys, both are built on the same platform, so it should apply to both. The only difference is the Suburban is practically longer. Nine out of 10 people that own a Tahoe or Suburban do not know how many hidden fuse boxes are in it. That's why we made a very helpful video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location on Chevy Tahoe, Chevy Suburban, check it out. First, we need to go ahead and open the hood. Once you open the hood here, guys, you see on the driver's side, you have that cover. Go ahead and open it and you will find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen, guys, at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well, guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. So here guys, what we need to check, one fuse at first, we'll talk about relay in a second, the fuse for the electric running boards guys, okay, also known as power assist steps, is known as fuse number one and it's that 30 amp fuse right here, okay, in the very corner, you see that fuse. Now, that fuse guys is hard to find, it can be overpriced, so we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get one from, that way you do not waste money and time. Now, about uh, relay, you don't have a relay. That fuse is known as a relay fuse, so that will be the only thing that you will need to check. So guys, I want to show you now something. Okay, check this thing out. You have all different kinds of fuses. Fuses, relays, circuit breakers, something that could be really hard to find. And if you're in the middle of nowhere, you don't have a replacement one, you may end up being stuck guys in the middle of nowhere or they can be seriously overpriced. So what we do, we usually buy some spare ones, we put in the glove box for a peace of mind. We'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.